Hey guys, welcome to another Eric Gales lesson. Today it's all about fast runs, how Eric Gales phrases them and what makes them sound so special. The lick I'll show you features three of Eric Gales typical playing characteristics. First, Eric starts most of his licks on the upbeat. This kind of drags on the notes and gives the lick a more inconsistent and faster feel. Second, Eric combines odd and even note groups with each other. In our example, it's the combination of four and seven notes, and both groups together are one block. Third, Eric tends to separate these blocks rhythmically. He doesn't necessarily connect the notes with each other. And this gives his licks a very different vibe. The lick is an E minor and I presume that you have at least some knowledge about the pentatonic boxes. So here's the lick played slow and then up to tempo. Before we go to the close-up, where I'll explain the lick in detail, let me show you the difference in feel when you start a lick on a down or an upbeat. Try to develop a feeling for that. Try to remember the sound. I'll create a time mark and I'll put it in the description so that you can always come back to this point in the video when you forget how it sounds when starting on a down or an upbeat. So let's go to the close-up now. Make sure you'll download the tabs which contain also the picking pattern. You'll find the download link in the description of course. So let's start with the lick. The first group of four notes. So we put our index finger on the fifth string of the A string and we go from five to seven. And we play a downstroke and an upstroke. We do the same thing on the D string, downstroke, upstroke. So this is the first group of four notes. So the second group contains seven notes. And we put our index finger on the fifth fret of the D string and we go to the ninth fret of the D string. Downstroke, upstroke. We do the same thing on the G string. So we end it with an upstroke and we go back to the ninth fret of the D string with an upstroke again. Then we play a downstroke on the seventh fret of the G string and an upstroke on the G string here in the ninth fret. So it's down, up, down, up, up, down up. So and this is one block. And we follow that picking pattern and we start the next block and it's again a group of four notes and we go from the ninth fret of the D string to the twelfth fret. Down, up, we do the same thing on the G string. That's the first group. And the second group here is again seven notes. And it is exactly the same picking pattern um, that we had here on the seventh string. So it's, so it's 12-14 on the D string. 
12, 14 on the G string, 14 on the D string, and 12, 14 on the G string. So this is the next block. So far we have Then we start the next block here with a group of four notes and on the D string we go from 14 to 17 down up again. Then we move to the G string and we play 14, 16. Then we move to the 12th fret of the G string. We go 12, 14. Then we go to the B string, we go 12, 15. Then we go back to the 14th fret of the G string with an upstroke. Then we go to the 12th fret of the B string and to the 15th fret. So the picking pattern remains always the same pattern. It's the same for the group of four, down, up, down, up. And also for seven notes, which is down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Then we move our index finger here to the 12th fret of the B string and we start the next block. It's a group of four notes, of course, and we go from 12 to 15, down up, of course. We do the same thing on the high E string. And then we go to the 15th fret of the B string and we start the last group of seven notes. And we go 15, 17 on the B string, down, up. Then we go 15, 17 on the high E string, down, up. Then we move back to the B string, 17th fret, and we play it with an upstroke. Back to the high E string, 15, 17. And I play a final note here on the 17th fret on the B string, which is the E. So you can freely improvise here. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and if so, please leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to activate the bell. Thanks for watching, I'll see you at my next video. So take care, bye.